All right, I uh, just uh, fixed this amplifier again. Uh, this amplifier I built it for a friend of mine a while back. I did a double safety on his bias and he brought it yesterday. I fixed it. None of the uh, transistors that were burned, none of them were burned. So um, what it burned, it's part of the circuit on the bias. So I replaced those parts. I inspect the whole entire amplifier. The transistors are extremely weak, extremely weak. But it still work. That that's a plus. They're still working. However, I found um, evidence of being overheating. The part that I burned out. In order for those particular parts to burn out, they have to increase over two hundred and fifty seven degrees Fahrenheit. That's extremely hot for this particular amplifier to burn. I have a uh, two fan on top of that that will provide over over a hundred and four CFMs. All right. So he's getting about two hundred CFMs. We're talking about sixty four, sixty five hundred uh RPMs per minute. That's a lot of air for this particular amplifier. And the reason I did it because this amplifier is class A B. So meaning the amplifier will run hotter. So you wanted to keep all the components um, as low in temperature as possible, right? Um, so I noticed something. I Let me unplug that because I don't like to put my hands in there when it's an AC power in there. We're gonna see here, we're gonna analyze this. These fans are loud. If you wanted to have a, a, a fan that is gonna keep you device cold, you must have air blowing in. If you wanted to have a, a, a fan that it's gonna be quiet, I think, I believe each one of those, I can't remember exactly the specifications, but I believe they're 25 dB uh, noisy on, on them, on each one. So you get about 50 dB, however, if you put this amplifier the way that I have mine, um, just about three feet away, and if you have a good microphone, you shouldn't be able to pick up the noise from this particular fence. But we have evidence here, as you guys can see, that something that was over this two fan, like cover up. So apparently he covered up this to eliminate noise levels. But what happens is that by lowering, by lowering uh, the noise level, it increased heat. I'll show you guys, uh, for example, here, this is evidence of a, uh, this is evidence of heat on the 239, SO239s, those are Teflon. In order for this to get this hot, it has to be a lot of heat in here and for a long period of time. So we, I fix it without replacing the transistors. I don't know for how long the transistors are gonna be uh, good and good working conditions. However, uh, it's up to how people treat their equipment. It's not the technician. It's is the it's not a technician's fault. It's is the way that people tend to use their equipment. If I'm using uh, some of the best parts that I can possibly find based on my knowledge, I would do it. Otherwise, I I would not do anything. But this is the transistors. They're very very weak. Personally, I would replace them. I want him to save some money, so I'm not going to replace them right now because he doesn't want to spend money. But for how long is going to last? Maybe a week, maybe two months, maybe three months. Uh, who knows? It all depends how he treated. So I'm going to just uh, demonstrate a little bit about this amplifier. 
I'm using my striker right now. This is the bypass, one, 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 one. We got five watts in, re in reverse, one, 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 okay? And I'm running about one, 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 one. 73 watts is gonna go into this amplifier. Turn on the amplifier. When you have a sideband, the the capacitor the uh, dielectric capacitor that's in there is is holding energy right it's not going to discharge because it's an isolation between the coil of the relay and the switch so when you turn on the the switch the, this is going to turn on the just the amplifier but when you turn on this you guys can hear the click that's the energy that is pushing over the coil to turn on the bias pass through right what you wanted to avoid that the click over the relay you turn on the bias so it'll be in isolation you guys can hear that the relay didn't click these are tips that you're learning with time but if you're just gonna use it just keep it like that if you want to use an im just turn it off or keep it this one all the time this is for sideband all right like i said this particular amplifier when you're talking about class ab1 you're keeping your transistors and the best curb level to obtain your classification of amplification. When you reach that point, your transistor is going to run hotter. And that's the reason why I use, uh, you know, fans like I explained with a lot of RPMs or CFMs because you want to keep the components room temperature if as possible. So, you, yes, you do going to get noise in there. However, this is in sideband. I'm going to turn it off because I have my radio on AM. And I'm going to show you guys the results of weak transistors. I believe uh, they're between 4HFE and to like 8. So it's a very imbalance part in that transistor. But here it goes. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1
convince someone that has been in, misinformed that provide an evidence of how to do one thing properly. So I'm just going to load up this video. I think it's enough, uh, 10 minutes time, but, um, please, 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 um, work on your ground system, work on your coax. If you spend a thousand dollars, um, buying in a particular amplifier, $1,300 and you want to get in the air, don't get the cheapest uh, coax that you find out there. Put a good quality system, good quality coax. You want to sound really good, buy a good radio, buy a quality radio, find a good technician that will do a, um, an, an alignment on your radio. Um, again, um, a friend of mine, a Puerto Rican guy, told me one time, uh, it's a book learn, uh, it's smart people, they learn through books, and it's people they learn through their entire life, like a alley technician. He called him alley technician, like from the alley. So doesn't matter how do you learn the the, the technicality of, of, of your system, but do it properly. It's ton of information. I cannot stress. Read the Motorola ground system, um, the White Pages uh, ground system, uh, the ARRL systems ground. Not everything is accurate, but a hey, you might find something that will work suitable for your station, and you're gonna improve. It's all about improving and improving and improving in your in your um, antenna system, ground system. So for now, uh, I just wanted to show you guys this amplifier is back in the air. See, put it in sideband first, and you don't hear the click on the relay. I'm gonna. One 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 one. That's seven hundred and seventy watts. One 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 one. Out of out of seventy watts, you're getting about ten point two dB gain. Still getting you ten dB gain that this transistors provide to your system. So to your antenna system. So all right, seventy three. Hope you guys uh, learn something from this video and imply tips. Whatever you uh, learn from this, just give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, doesn't matter. Get something, let's, let's share knowledge, 73.